Hi everyone, I'm Wen Xiaozhong. Today I'm going to present our paper, Remix, Efficient Ranger Query for LSM Trees. LSM Trees are the backbone of many database systems. These systems are the building blocks of many modern applications. LSM Tree is essentially a write-optimized data structure. It buffers updates in the in-memory buffer. When the buffer fills up, it sort merges the updates and flushes them to persistent storage. LSM trees organize data in levels of increasing size. These levels usually overlap with each other. The data in a level will be gradually compacted to the next level. By writing updates in batch, LSM trees achieve better write efficiency than traditional index structure, such as B-tree. Depending on how the data is selected for compaction, we have different compaction policies. In general, there are two types of compaction policy, tiered compaction and leveled compaction. In tiered compaction, each level accumulates runs from the previous level. When the number of runs reaches a threshold, these runs will be sort merged and flushed to the next level. In leveled compaction, each level has exactly one sorted run. Updates from a previous level will be merged to form a new run. When the size of the run reaches a threshold, it will be flushed and merged with a run in the next level. Because leveled compaction aggressively sort merges updates with existing data. The data in each level will be rewritten multiple times. On the other hand, by accumulating updates in a level and sort merging them at once, the tiered compaction has a lower insert cost. Let's look at how LSM trees perform queries. For point queries, LSM trees often employ bloom filters to avoid accessing the runs that do not contain the search key. In practice, most of the queries could be answered with only one I.O. Ranger queries in traditional LSM tree based systems are implemented using a merging iterator, which is essentially a min heap structure that merges all the runs to provide a sorted view. Because the runs in an LSM tree often overlap, a Ranger query must access every run in the store. It doesn't sound bad as long as we don't have too many runs. However, because tiered compaction maintains multiple sorted runs for write efficiency, the merging iterator needs to access more runs, which leads to even worse range query performance. Different compaction policies are essentially making different trade-offs between read and write efficiency. So we want to ask, can we achieve a fast read and write at the same time? Because the level of compaction aggressively sort merges data to maintain one run each level, there is not much we could do to improve writes based on this model. On the other hand, the tiered compaction accumulates and merges runs in batch, which is write efficient. At the same time, it maintains multiple runs, which leads to slow range queries. So we think, can we achieve a faster range query even if we have many runs? First of all, let's see why a range query could be expensive using a min heap merging iterator. Let's say we have three sorted runs. Those numbers represent the keys on the runs. So here we are showing an example of range query that retrieves the keys between 30 and 50. The first step is to seek on each run with a binary search so that the cursor will point to the smallest key that is greater than or equal to the start key. After that, we compare those keys, build the min heap, and now put the smallest key, 31, which is on R2. Afterward, to retrieve the subsequent keys, the cursor on R2 should be advanced to skip the key being reached. Then, we update the min heap and now put the key 43, which is the smallest key under the new cursors. Similarly, to retrieve the next key, the cursor on R2 should be advanced to skip key 43. Again, we compare the keys and now put key 52, which is greater than the max key. Now the range query is finished. The cost of min heap could be summarized as follows. First, Initializing the min heap requires a binary search on every run. Second, when advancing the iterator, it requires multiple key comparisons to adjust the heap and output the smallest key. Lastly, it needs to access every run even if some of the runs do not cover the keys in the range. In our previous example, the keys 31, 43, and 52 only belong to R2, but we still need to access R0 and R1. We also have two observations. First, the sorted view is stable. For example, the sorted view of these three runs always starts from 2, 4, 6, and ends at 91. The sorted view remains the same as long as the runs stay unchanged. However, 
the sorted view is constructed at runtime and then discarded after the range query is finished to avoid repeatedly rebuilding the sorted view. We could record a sequential access path of the view. LSM tree was originally designed for spinning disks. The data must be physically sorted for efficient read. Today, SSD have much improved the render access performance, and the CPU has become the bottleneck. It may not be cost effective to keep data physically sorted. To sum up, based on these observations, we propose range query efficient multi-table index, in short, Remix that efficiently records the sorted views in LSM trees. Remix metadata contains three parts. First, the run selector records the sequential access path of the sorted view. If we want to access any keys in the middle of the view using only the run selectors, we would have to scan from the beginning. To avoid that, we divide the view into segments. In this example, there are at most four keys in each segment. To quickly locate a segment, we also store the smallest key in each segment, noted as anchor keys. To enable scanning from a segment, we also store the cursor offsets for each segment that record the location of the iterators as if we are going to scan from the anchor key. For example, let's look at the second segment here. The key 11 is the smallest key in this segment, which is also the anchor key. The cursor offset point to key 11, 17, and 31. They are the smallest keys greater than or equal to key 11, corresponding to the state of emerging iterator that seeks to key 11. Let's see an example of a range query that retrieves the range between 15 and 28 using Remix. The keys between the range will be copied to a user buffer. The first step is to find a target segment that covers the start key. Key 15 is between 11 and 31, so the second segment is selected. The next step is to initialize the cursors according to the cursor offsets, which are 1 to 1. So the cursors will be positioned to point to 11, 17, and 31 in the three rounds. The current pointer of the iterator will be set to point to the first run selector in this segment. In this case, the iterator will point to R0, which corresponds to key 11 according to the restore the cursor offset. Then, we compare the key under the cursor. Key 11 is smaller than key 15, so we need to advance the iterator to find the first key in the range. To advance the iterator, we first advance the cursor of the current run. In this case, the cursor of R0 will be advanced to point to key 23. Then, the current pointer will also be advanced to point to the next run selector in this segment. Then, the iterator will point to the key under the cursor of R1, which is key 17. 17 is greater than 15, so key 17 is copied to the user buffer. We keep advancing the iterator to retrieve all the keys in the range. Similarly, the cursor of R1 will be advanced to point to key 29. Then, the iterator will point to the key under the cursor of R0, which is key 23. Key 23 will be copied to the user buffer. We keep advancing the iterator. The cursor of R0 will be advanced to point to key 71. Then, the iterator will point to the key 29 in R1, which is greater than the max key, so the range scan is finished. Let's summarize the benefits of using Remix. First, Remix initializes an iterator using one binary search on the anchor keys. Second, advancing the iterator using Remix does not require any key comparisons. Finally, Remix can skip accessing the runs that are not on the search path. More benefits of Remix are elaborated in our paper. Combining with Remix, we build RemixDB, an LSM tree based key value store. RemixDB uses a single-level partition layout, which is proven to be efficient under real-world workloads. In each partition, RemixDB employs tiered compaction policy for efficient write. At the same time, the table files in each partition are indexed by Remix to provide excellent read performance. Similarly to the traditional LSM trees, when the in-memory buffer fills up, the updates will be flushed to the corresponding partition in the persistent storage. In each partition, Three types of compaction are possible depending on the new data size and the old data size. A minor compaction directly places new table files on top of the old table files. A major compaction selects several similar size table files and compacts them into one. A split compaction divides a large partition into multiple new partitions. So, 
Let's see how Remix and RemixDB actually perform. We evaluate the Remix and RemixDB using a microbenchmark and YCSB benchmark. In the microbenchmark, we compare Remix against the mean heap merging iterator. We run a set of experiments using 1 to 16 table files. In each experiment, the keys are randomly assigned to different table files. Here it is a C cooperation result. When there is only one table file, both methods use one binary search, while Remix has slightly higher constant overhead. Remix is faster than merging iterator when there are more than one table file, as the merging cost starts to dominate. Remix achieves up to 9.3 times speed up when there are 16 table files. Here we show the result of a C cooperation, followed by scanning the next 50 keys. The scanning imposes a constant overhead on copying the keys. In this scenario, Remix still achieves about two times speed up with five table files and up to three times speed up when there are 16 table files. To evaluate the performance of RemixDB, we compare RemixDB with LevelDB, RocksDB, and PebblesDB. We load each system with 256 gigabyte of key value pairs in random order, then run the YSSB workloads A to F. RemixDB low throughput is about 30% faster than PebblesDB which also adopts the tiered compaction policy. The workload E mostly contains range of queries. RemixDB achieves up to two times speed up compared with the systems that use leveled compaction. YSSB workload D mainly performs point queries to the most recently inserted keys. Most of the queries could be answered from the in-memory buffer. Hence, RemixDB does not show a significant improvement under workload D. In conclusion, Remix records and reuses sorted view to support fast range query on multiple sorted runs. We build Remix DB on top of Remix. It achieves efficient read and write by employing a single level partition layout with Remix. Thank you so much.